Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have a circle and an ellipse, and we're trying to find the common solution, the points where the two equations cross, or the, the point where the two, in this case, there's only two places where the circle and the ellipse take up the exact same point, which is on those two points right here. So the ellipse is drawn like this, and the circle is drawn like this. So there's only two points where they're at the same location, or points, two points of intersection. How do we find those? Well, let's see. I think what we want to do first here is get rid of the denominators, which means we're going to multiply the left and the right side by the lowest common denominator, which in this case is the product, which is 36. So multiply both sides by 36. We'll worry about the second equation later. Let's do this one first. So when we do this, and 4 goes into 36 9 times, so we end up with 9x squared plus 9 goes in 36 4 times, so we end up with plus 4y squared is equal to 36. So now notice that if we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 4, we'll end up with a negative 4y squared, and we can eliminate the y's by adding the two equations. So I'm going to multiply this side and this side by negative 4, like so, which means this equation turns into the following. We end up with a minus 4x squared minus 4y squared is equal to minus 36. Now we can add the two together. Notice the y's will cancel out, and here we end up with 5x squared is equal to 0, or x squared is equal to 0, or x equals 0. There's only one solution for x, x must be 0, and of course that makes sense when we look here, it looks like that's correct, x equals 0. Will we come up with the two possibilities for y? Well, we can do so by plugging that into one of our two equations. So let's use this equation. We're going to let x equal 0, so 0 squared plus y squared is equal to 9, or y squared equals 9, or y is equal to the square, or plus or minus the square root of 9, which means that y equals plus or minus 3, which means that if x is equal to 0, we have two possibilities for y, which means the two solutions are x equals 0 and y equals plus 3, and x equals 0 and y equals negative 3, and sure enough, those are the two points that we found, and that is how it's done. One, two, three, one, oh, negative one, negative two, negative three, one, two, three, and negative one, negative two, and negative three for these points right there. Okay, so. So I want to imagine, I said you just put it in the order pair on the. And it's true, we actually didn't have to go through the process. Once you graph it, it's quite clear. No, it just so over here, this is the pair 0, 3, and this is the pair 0, negative 3, the two solutions. Yep, actually you could do it graphically much easier oh, than working out. <laughs> yeah, these are straightforward examples.